How's everyone? Chris here again with another video. This time it's the X80H. Now this is a dual boot tablet from Techlast. 8 inches screen, IPS panel, and the panel is uh, really good, good viewing angles. Uh, there is a gap between the actual IPS panel and the glass. Very common on these devices, they're not laminated screens. That same gap is pretty much what you'll find on the first generation iPad Air or the iPad Mini, so it is even on high-end Apple devices. Anyway, the uh, internal eMMC drive speed is quite good, as you can see. That is actually quite respectable. This is a bit, quite a bit faster, I would say, than my Techlast X98 Air, which I have sitting in the background here. The speed is really good. I um, mean, finding that uh, the tablet is a really good size, of course, being eight inches. It's not for everyone, and it's nice and small. It's basically like a extra large phablet, if you will. And I will just have a look at internet for you, show you how that loads up. I will load a website which I haven't been to yet, which is CNN. And we'll just have a look how quickly that loads. Has a bit of traffic on my router, so it could be a little bit slower than normal. I'm just downloading some Windows updates actually. And yeah, that seems to be a little bit slow, but that's my router there. But the actual just using the tablet on internet here is quite smooth, as you'd, as you'd expect using Windows uh, Internet Explorer in Metro mode is just really good. Uh, multitasking and everything on the tablet, typical Windows multitasking is runs all well no issues there and i will show you what free space there is you can see here that i have around five gigabytes free and now that is actually because i'm installing asphalt 8 airborne in the background too so but there's not a lot of free space originally there was around i think it was around eight gigabytes six gigabytes free so we have, of course, Android on there as well, sharing the same space on the drive. And it does take up a bit of room. And I'll just let you have a closer look at this panel here. Just with some sample images that I took on my Note 4. Ooh, don't know what happened there. There we go. So you can see what the screen is like. So the view angles are what you'd expect on an IPS panel. Um, oh, before I forget, the build quality is really actually quite good. There are no creaks, no noises. It is very solid, solid unit. From tech class, there's really no complaints in the build quality. Uh, and I can't produce any creaks or groans around the screen when using it. It does feel really solid in the hand. It's a good weight. Anyway, back to the screen. Here just a few sample images here. And this is actually a 4K video right here that I recorded on my note. And that runs flawlessly as it should. These Bay Trail devices are quite good now. They can they can play 4K video for example. Without any problems there. So that is a quick look at hands-on in Windows. I will now just reboot and we'll get into Android and have a look how that runs. Okay so on reboot we get the all familiar Teclass dual boot selector here. Um, select Android and let's see how long this takes. I will also check and see how much free space is on the actual drive here and the internal hard drive partition of Android. And just while we're waiting you can see what it looks like next to the Onda 
V919 size wise you can see the devices are actually about the same thickness that's the Ticklast X98 ear right here thickness wise is slightly higher by a millimeter or so and really about the same thickness as the Onda okay so this is uh, in the Android ROM here you can see that there is a lot of bloat uh, there is Play Store I have yet to check that I will report back on Play Store in another video I will do some more Android hands on Android games so please do subscribe I will check and see if that works and there's just a few sample images that they've given us these are all just installed on every single tech last ROM for Android. They seem to put these same images on, just a few video clips and whatnot. Okay, so the volume actually is really quite loud. That is louder than louder than both of these tablets I have here in the background. That is quite good. Nice loudness there. So the two rear speakers, and there are actually two speakers, and then I put my ear against each speaker grill there, and there's definitely a speaker on either side there. So they're not um, faking it. Um, and Android, of course, is running 4.0. 4.4.4 as you can see there so that's a hands on with the Ticklast X80H I hope you liked my video, if you did please do give me a thumbs up, that really does help me and I will try and get more videos out of these tablets and others so do subscribe and thanks for watching, bye for now